Yo, what's going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den shooting with the new camera. So this is gonna be a little bit different training vlog where I'm just gonna talk about my training and then there's gonna be some B-roll footage of the actual training session. I just wanted to cut these uh, vlogs down in time so that you're not watching something you know that's over 10 minutes long and pointless sets and reps. So I kinda can just talk about it, let it play, let's get into it. So the first thing that I had to do today was a banded high bar back squat. And I was doing five reps for four sets, RPE seven across. And I think I was at, uh, let me say 365, 385 plus uh, some band tension. So probably somewhere in the 400s with the band tension, but these felt really good. And I'm getting used to high bar squatting again, which uh, this is only my second week on of programming, but feeling really nice. And the, the band tension has really been a game changer for me, implementing that into my program. Uh, which kind of has like a little bit of a conjugate feel to it, even though it's not conjugate at all. I, I have wanted to try a conjugate style program, but adding the bands into my variations of my lifts has been awesome. Uh, and since the supplemental lift, there's no belt, okay? And I feel like uh, from the last six months of training, my squat strength has increased a lot, especially without a belt. So before I used to always squat, uh, you know, with a belt, in the fours and now I've been able to, to do that without a belt and, and work pretty high beltless. So my squats are increasing and, and it's just feeling great. Uh, from there, I worked up and did a shoulder press without a belt. So it was a comp press, just beltless. I didn't wear any wrist wraps. I did wear elbow sleeves because it does help a little bit keep my joints uh, warm as I'm pressing. And for this, I was supposed to do three sets of 10 at RPE seven and I stuck around uh, or 165. So I did three sets of 10 at 165 RPE 7. Uh, pretty much here, it's just real simple. It's just volume work. Okay, trying to strengthen my shoulders, and the strength has gone up since the last programming block that I've been on uh, for the last several months. So that's that's good. You know, I'm excited to kind of see where this ends up, and, and as uh, I get stronger, kind of see where my one uh, one reps are at around RPE 8. So I did that. Uh, from there, my last movement of the day was barbell rows. So for barbell rows, same type of deal, three sets, 10 reps of, uh, at RPE 7. And for that, I was at 245, which was feeling good. And I've really just tried and have been focused on my mind and muscle connection. You know, as I'm doing the rows, focus on using my back. Uh, and uh, I wasn't doing too much body language with this. And what I mean by that is, is like getting, you know, a little bit of leg drive and pop in the bar. It's kind of really trying to stay strict using my back as much as possible without too much momentum. Uh, and then, as you guys know, I like to do a little bit of conditioning. So I threw in my conditioning segment where I was doing some sandbag loads to uh, a podium, which is actually my old jerk blocks that never get used in here. So I just, instead of uh, ditching them or selling them, I use them to load the, st or the uh, sandbags up to. So I did uh, three sets of five with a 200 pound bag. And then I'd come over and I'd work on the battle ropes for a little bit, just do a battle rope variation for about 40 seconds, just to keep my heart rate going, working the shoulders a little bit, getting some sweat flowing. And then I'd head over and do a K carry of about 100 feet down and back. Kept it pretty light today. I was just working with a 150 keg down and back, feeling good, just engaging my back, my lats. Uh, you actually will feel it in your, your legs a lot when you do a K carry properly. So that's kind of nice to finish off with that but wasn't anything too taxing as I'm trying to have my primary focus into the strength training. I wanna increase my numbers as best I can. Uh, and, and I kind of been programming with the idea of like, see where I'm at at the end of, of three months. Uh, but my goal is to, at some point, have a 700 pound deadlift, a 295 strict press, my back squat 650, uh, keep my bench press over 400 pounds. I have been dealing with a shoulder issue uh, but you know, I'm doing my best. I learned a lot from Austin Baraki and Alan Thrall about how to deal and manage pain. And the, one of the biggest tips, which I talked about in one of my other videos was uh, engaging my chest more and getting higher up on my traps and my shoulders to kind of use the chest muscles more instead of putting all the pressure in my shoulder. And that's actually been helping a lot. Uh, right now, the biggest thing that aggravates it is sometimes if I sleep wrong on it and it's hard to control that in the middle of the night as I toss and I turn. Uh, but you know, doing what I can, training through everything, feeling really good, I'm excited trying to figure out some competitions in the future. I have a lot going on with uh, my business mastermind that I'm running August 4th and September 15th, which is only like one or two spots left in that. So if you're interested in growing your business, your brand, learning how to utilize social media or YouTube, all that kind of stuff, I would highly check that out or send me an email because the spots are filling up and I think it's done um, after 
this week. I'm closing it out because it'll be uh, approaching very soon. Uh, along with that, I have a lot of people from the gym that are competing in their first strongman competition or their second strongman competition. It's really cool because the environment of the gym has just been growing and uh, we're, we're getting people to just get after it and uh, start competing. So I'm really excited that, that that's uh, taking off. But make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you like this. Give me some feedback, different style of video, new camera, I'm trying to get used to it, work the kinks out a little bit. But let me know in the comment section uh, below what you guys think. And until then, say Lean Me Strike Machines, and we will keep putting out some awesome content. Thank you so much for helping build this uh, dream of mine. Can't do it without you guys. Get after it.